Hey, welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, today I've got a piece of mountain ash. Another piece of mountain ash, otherwise known as Rowan. Um, I'm going to see what I can turn out of this. I'm thinking about a canister of some sort. But I've got a little bit of checking on the bottom. I'm going to see if I can turn that away and uh, see what I can come up with. Okay, I'm just getting this lined up in here. A little heavy on the bottom, so I'm going to take that up a little bit. There we go. That's what I love about painting in my shop. Everything gets so nice and colorful. <laughs> Here's my big spindle guy for this guy. This one goes down to here. One check here. One check here. Mark that real quick. Get rid of that. And I think I'll make a tenant. Got. Make a little bit of a tent here, but I have no room. Just there. That's right. Oh, that'll do for what I'm doing. I think. Oops, I haven't tightened it up yet, but I got it in my uh, four jaw chuck here. So I'm spin that on. See if I can't make the light a little better down here. There we go. That's better. Okay. I'm going to use my small bowl gouge just to flatten off the end here. Length a little bit because it's a 
a little bit. Not around right now. Right, let's get this screwed up a little bit here. I'm thinking of stout vase. That's what I'm thinking at this point. Let me just get a pencil. That's what I'm thinking. I'm good with that, I think. I should finish. Let's start uh, doing this. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible to do once uh, once all the meats come away. So now I'm going to do the mouth and go down into the uh, body of the vessel. Why don't I just save myself a bunch of grief here? I'm going to get my Jacobs chuck in there, and I'm going to drill out a one-inch hole. Biggest Forstner bit I have is one inch, so that's what I'll be using. I'll get a good bite on that the first time, so clean that up a bit. Go for it again. bit of a process so I'll finish up and get back to you. sounds at all. Oh, it kind of roughed up the inside. Well, 
it's kind of crappy down there, but at least it's consistently crappy down there. All right, now I think what I'll do, clean that up in there a little bit with some sandpaper. Let's start working on the body. So apparently, <laughs> since I started turning this or sanding it, it's uh, it's actually warped. So there must be still quite a quite a bit of moisture content in there, even, even though I can't feel it. Um, but yeah, it's no longer on center here. So this is, but the uh, the mouth is warped. Interesting. See how it goes. There, I just wiped it down. I've sanded it up to 320. Wiped it down with uh, with a paper towel that had just a touch of mineral oil on it. But boy, that really did a nice job of cleaning that up. The grain in here is spectacular. And uh, yeah, might as well start working on the body. That's uh, what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this one plain and simple. I'm going to come down from the shoulder, make a nice, elegant uh, body on this, part it off. I'll sand it down and finish it, then part it off, and uh, yeah, should be done. There we go. Stronger than I thought I was pushing it towards the pot there. Yeah, it's coming along. around there. If my measurement is correct here. Let's see. How far can I go here? Alright. Oh yeah, geez I got lots of room. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll start my part right now. Before I go any further with that, I'm going to sand off the body, maybe give it some oil. I want to leave this one kind of uh, rough, rustic looking. Not rough, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Yeah. Let's see, I'm just going to throw some oil on here and uh, part it off, but I wanted to let you know what it looked like after sanding it to uh, 320. Yeah, cool. Well, let's get some oil on there. All right, just gonna use a little uh, mineral oil on this. I'm not gonna run that, I'm just gonna rub it on first. A nice little pool of that in my paper towel. Gonna get this soaked. I'm not going to bother doing the inside too much because well, it didn't turn out all that great. i got to get some hollowing tools one of these days. And I'm hoping in the next little while I'll be able to purchase my own uh, Yorkshire grit and Hampshire sheen. 
this month, it just didn't work out too well. really soaking it up it's dry now I basically just cleaned it off but wow look at that grain look at that that's a beauty that's... you know what I think I am gonna put some beeswax on there just to finish it off Ooh, that feels nice. Yes. Okay. And uh, part that off and uh, show you what it looks like. Finish right, there we have it. Another tree creation. A little urn vase. Or a vase like urn? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. Sure looks nice. Mountain ash otherwise known as Rowan. So thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Yeah, that turned out real nice. Thanks for tuning in. Check that. Check that. Blue, blue. I mean it. <laughs>